there are arrows that fly by day there are noisome pestilences i tell you there are destructions that waste in noonday and understanding your place and accessing this mystery mama your children leave your house in the morning and they go across the nation you do not know where they are going to if they do not understand the mystery of exemption may god forbid that someone returns back with a tragedy and they just call you to say we don't know where your child is the psalmist said i lay me down and i slept he said i waked for the lord sustained me because you see when men sleep many things happen listen to my teaching while men slept when men sleep many things happen in the night for instance when men sleep satan comes to sow all kinds of things exemption has thou considered my servant job said i came around but i could not do anything there was a garrison that was around him that would be your testimony in the name of jesus christ that Satan will come to your family and say, this is the family we targeted for this October. But as soon as they come, mysteries surround your family like chariots. There will be no penetration point. Satan himself was testifying. I came to Jobo, but I tried everything. There's a play that children used to play in Nigeria. They say, I pass here. Then they'll cover the place and say, no way. I pass here, no way. I pass through your finance, no way. Through your health, through your prayer life. Hallelujah. I have seen people who as they progress in life, they become shadows of themselves. You know that they have not learned exemption. A man who was blessed or anointed and by the time he's 40, 45, you see him and you're almost, what happened to you? Say life, life, life. This is why I'm teaching you this. What changed? What happened to your health? Me too, I don't know. Things started going wrong. What happened in your finances? My business just crashed. How about your job? I just lost the job. What happened to your children? One became an armed robber. The other one is in the prison in US. The other one just entered the prison last week in Europe. Okay? What of that one who got first class? Oh, a bike hit the person when he went to collect his certificate and he died. And you see the person moving up. Do you know why many people are not serious with God in old age? They will tell you, when I was young, I was at a Reinhard Bunker crusade. I was at a T.L. Osborne crusade. They will say, God failed me. God did not fail them. They just did not understand how the system of the kingdom operates. This is why God is teaching us this. So that you will not join the bandwagon of those discouraging people from being passionate about God. Many people today, I tell you, those who are some of the chiefest advocates, of an antichrist life were once in church they will tell you where was God when this was happening to me where was God when I was losing my job where was God when I was fasting and praying are we together now I know a lady who died two days before her wedding after waiting for many years two days before her wedding had bought wedding gown bought all these things and two days to the wedding she died I had the guy collapse to whether he died or not, I don't know. Don't tell me that's the will of God. The will of God is very clear from scripture. How about someone who builds a house and just at the point where they are preparing for the Thanksgiving, he starts coughing out blood. What is happening? They say something has been wrong in your system for the last five years. You have only six months to live. In the name of Jesus, I speak over someone. Whatever will make you labor for nothing, whatever will make it look like God is not real in your life, I exempt you from it right now. I exempt you from it right now. Please sit down. True story. They were looking for an armed robber around an airport. An armed robber and they had, you know how security people do, they, there was an intel all around and somebody was traveling sincerely and they just saw the person's photo looking, you know how they type it and there's a percentage, uh, you know those, there's a percentage of resemblance or so and that one seemed very high. That's how they stopped that guy there. 
He said, I'm a responsible gentleman. <clears throat> Keep quiet. When you get to where we are taking, you can explain whether you're a pastor, whether you're a missionary, but for now, is that not wickedness? Are you the one who created your face? Somebody that looks like you stole and now they caught you for it. You will not enter another man's pit in the name of Jesus Christ. Exemption.